Paul's mindset is difficult for anyone else to change because it is your own mind. But I think one of the limiting factors with changing of mindset is customer needs evolve very quickly. Now, if you have a traditional organization structure, what you would usually find is an annual learning and development plan from HR, which is very good, right? With an annual budget and things are locked in. But now you need a new skill and you need it next week. But the training budget is already locked. So I think the closing of mindset is really sometimes people are afraid because they don't have the foundational knowledge and they can't get the foundational knowledge and so they might feel as though they're going in blind and now they're apprehensive. And I think that apprehension may sometimes come across as closed-minded. I just think it needs to be addressed by, um, I guess, a more adaptive training and development plan you know, that can respond much faster to customer changing needs. I think it requires reframing the recruitment process. When you are in an organization that is building products and services that have been existing for five years or 10 years, it's very easy to ask for someone who has built it before. And so you look at their past achievements when you're going through the interview process. But when you're doing new digital products or new digital services that don't exist, you cannot hire someone who's done it before because it hasn't been done before, which is your whole reason for doing it. So I think in the interview process, we should focus more on an individual attitude and their aptitude within this scenario rather than their past achievements. And so what I would do is I would frame the, the interview from the standard questions, where do you see yourself in five years and those sort of things, to two, two important questions. How do you feel as the candidate that you can help realize our product or service vision? How do you see yourself in that scenario? And the second question I would ask is, what hurdles do you think you may face and what help from us would you need to overcome them? So I think from those two questions, I would be able to elicit quite high passion on the, the subject of our vision and also their aptitude in thinking about various hurdles and how to overcome them should they occur.